There's my dog right in the back there. I don't even know what she's doing. She's doing something. Right, Layla? Yeah. Yeah, you are. So first thing on the list as gifts for her are pieces of Ana Luisa jewelry. So just a little disclaimer, I am collaborating with Ana Luisa jewelry, so I am going to give you guys a quick rundown about my experience with Ana Luisa jewelry in case you are interested in gifting that special someone or special best friend <laughs> um, any pieces of Ana Luisa jewelry. And don't worry, I won't tell if you buy it for yourself. It's fine. It's fine. I do it too. First up on the list with the Ana Luisa jewelry are these Bonnie earrings. So these are these trailing studs. I absolutely adore them. I am not really a stud person, especially on the top over here on my third piercing. I would never, but I saw these on the website and I was like, okay, you know what? They actually look kind of cute. And now when I'm looking at it, I like it even more than I thought I would have. And now for my statement earring are the Michelle coin hoop earrings. So they look like this. They're very, very reflective. If you can't tell, you could literally see it right on my jawline here. Very reflective, very beautiful. Let me show you a size comparison. So this is my thumbnail and it's still just a little bit larger than the thumbnail, but there we go. And there, this, you guys, is the herringbone chain necklace. I absolutely adore it. However, I'm not going to lie, I would probably not pair this necklace with these earrings because these are quite bold earrings. I think both of these are statement pieces. This is usually, um, I usually have finer jewelry for my necklace and this is too much for me to wear with such bold earrings, but have had I been wearing, you know, just a normal tiny little hoop or perhaps even just a stud, this necklace would be the way to go. As usual, you guys, I am recommending Ana Luisa Jewelry as one of the things on her Christmas wish list because honestly, they are pretty inexpensive for gold-plated jewelry that does not make your ears sensitive. And trust me, I would know this because my ears are highly sensitive to anything that is not real gold. However, with Ana Luisa, I haven't had any issues. So I can guarantee you a very good price without any allergic reactions. And in case anything does happen, Ana Luisa does have a two year warranty if you go out and contact them and let them know what the possible issue is. I've gone into the shower many times with their jewelry and absolutely nothing has tarnished or rusted. It looks literally as good as new. So once again, I do recommend you guys to go check them out. And in case you want an extra 10% discount, you can use my code VictoriaK10 at checkout. Okay, now going on to the rest of the Christmas gifts for her that I either already have and absolutely love and absolutely love or that I seriously want. Although some of these items, as a little disclaimer, can be a little bit on the pricier side, and I'm not suggesting that you guys get them for her. I'm just saying, you know, if you do have the money and you want to spend it on her, some of these can get a little bit pricey. But I'm sure that these are things that she would appreciate or like, especially if she has a very feminine character like myself. First thing, you guys, satin pillowcases. I absolutely adore satin pillowcases. I have not switched back to cotton ever since I got myself some satin pillowcases. Now, I understand that satin pillowcases can be really expensive. I can assure you that the $11 ones from Amazon are probably just as good. Of course, I would love to be bougie. However, I need to be bougie on a budget. Another thing would be the Yeti mug. I was actually gifted the Yeti mug by my fiance for my birthday a couple months ago. And you guys, I am never going back to any other kind of tumbler. That thing keeps your cold drinks cold, ice cold, and hot drinks hot, like spicy hot. 
it. The next thing for any of you guys that know she really loves to cook, and this is actually on my list myself, is the Ninja Foodi 8 Quart 12 in 1. And it's a pressure cooker, air fryer, and like 10 other different things. So it's pretty cool. I find that there are certain things in the kitchen that just simply taste so much better when it's air fried, such as like ribs. Oh my God, air fried ribs. I'm living in a condo. I don't have that much space, so I don't want to have an air fryer and then a slow cooker separately and this thing combines both of them. Any sort of candle, seriously, any candle. Do a Bath and Body Works candle, a Nest candle, do one from the dollar store. Whatever it is, you could even make it a stocking stuffer. My go-to actually has been discontinued. It was from Bath and Body Works. It was called French Baguette. It literally made your house smell like a bakery. It was the best thing ever. Get her the Arrow Garden. So the Arrow Garden is a hydroponic uh, system that can grow herbs in your home. It's about yay big, okay, yay tall, this, okay, and it takes like three weeks for the herbs to actually start growing, but once they start growing, you are guaranteed to have herbs on hand all the time. Linked to that is to just get her any kind of plants. If she's a plant person, she's going to love plants. I don't know, get her a Diffenbachia, get her a Monstera adenosis, get her a Monstera de Deliciosa. Ah, what else, what else is easy? Um, we also got a string of hearts. That would be really cute, getting her a string of hearts. I don't recommend string of pearls because for whatever reason I keep killing it. I don't know what's going on. It used to be perfectly fine and then just here it decided to say no, no thank you. In case your girl or your friend is such a fond plant person, she might actually appreciate an LED grow light. I got some LED grow lights for my plants and number one, it looks so cool in the morning when they turn on, it's on a timed setting. Two, it makes your plants thrive. Sort of diffuser. Women love diffusers, at least I definitely love diffusers. I would also recommend getting a diffuser from Sage and with that, you guys can also get some essential oils to put in. Just, if you want your girl to be calm, if you want your friend to be calm, get her a diffuser. Put a bunch of lavender into that. You'll be all set. And if you want to amplify that, why don't you also get her a, an essential roller? So pretty much it's a roller, it's, it's an essential bottle, and you roll it either on your wrists, behind your ears, some people do it like on their scalp, and there are certain essential oil blends for certain things. For example, there's one called Immunity, and that one is obviously to fight any kind of colds that might be happening or might occur or that you might be susceptible to. There are other ones that are for stress relief, some other ones for migraine relief, which is really cool. I wonder how that works. I should probably try that one out. I would also highly recommend any kind of reed diffusers. A great brand that I could recommend for this is Soya & Co, and that one is Montreal based. And while you're at it, you might as well add in a dried eucalyptus bunch. So I actually have a dried eucalyptus bunch in the shower. It makes my bathroom feel so spa-like. And when you first get it, it makes it smell heavenly. Hang on, we also got the LED travel mirror. All you have to do is charge it up and you get new lights. Other ideas that I came up with for her are those, it's kind of trending right now, those bubble glasses. You can also get some martini glasses, some coupe or coupe, I'm not too sure how to pronounce it, glasses. By the way, those are for cocktails in case any of you didn't know that because I didn't and I had to search up what they were for. I thought they were just meant to look pretty. The last piece for a home gift item, uh, we have the typical chenille throw. Special roller and gua sauce Gua sauce set. Because apparently it's not pronounced sha, it's sa. Gua sa na gua sha. So gua sa set. Sheet masks. I absolutely love the pachology. Pachology. 
Why is everything such a tongue twister right now? Pathology seat max sheet masks and in indigo they actually come in a set of three phenomenal if you don't want to get sheet masks because she's not really a sheet mask kind of person just go for a usual face mask so some of my favorites are the body shop matcha tea mask uh, that one is like an anti pollution mask the Phyto Greens Hot Mask by Eminence Organics and the Aztec Clay Mask. Out of all of those, the Aztec Clay Mask is cheapest. Spa gift set, and this could come with some sort of an herbal bath soak, a body cream, a scrub, bath salts, any Lalicious product. You guys, Lalicious is literally dessert in a lotion or in a shower gel or in a scrub. And they also do have glow body oils. I think they look and smell phenomenal. Foot peels. Because, you know, we have cracked heels too. You might also want to follow up with a thermal foot mask as well as a thermal hand mask. So all of these are some Pampering day essentials. Then after that, once she's finished all of that, she might want some foot cream or even better, Bath & Body Works sells some shea butter infused socks. And they're holiday edition right now too. Like, come on, how can you pass that up? That is so cute. Based on what I said before with the Patchology or Patchology face masks, they also have Patchology eye gels. I use them consistently, at least once a week. Absolutely love them. So in Indigo, they do have, I believe, like a five-in-one set for the holidays right now. Um, but some other ideas are Grace and Stella. I'm sure you guys have seen those. Those seem to be very popular. They're like the gold under eye mask. Before she even hops into the shower, she might want to use a dry body massage brush. You know, gets rid of all of those dead skin cells. I use it every once in a while, although I probably should use it more often. Some essential oil mists, you know, so that right before she goes into bed, she can ch 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 right over her pillow and just knock out for sleep. Then we also have some shower steamers. So Bath & Body Works makes some fantastic shower steamers. There are obviously some on Amazon as well that you could go check out. A microfiber hair towel and a deep conditioning mask because you cannot gift a microfiber towel telling her you care about her hair without giving her a deep conditioning mask, okay? Those two have to go together. Examples of deep conditioning masks could be Briogeo, which is the don't despair repair. Everyone knows that one. Or the K18. That one's more like a treatment than a mask, but either way, the same message comes across. Large claw clips like this one from Lululemon. Um, rosemary and argan hair oils. I recommend them both because rosemary or mint is very stimulating for the scalp, especially if it has biotin infused things in the oil. It's going to increase hair growth. Meanwhile, argan oil is there for the moisture. So it's a kind of like a grow and protect at the same time. Hand cream, because what woman wants dry hands? Pimple patches. These are the ones that I use from Amazon. Absolutely love them. A bath pillow. I love my bath pillow every time I take baths, probably twice a week, maybe three times. It depends on how busy I am, but I always use my bath pillow. The bath caddy, such as this one. Make sure it has a wine holder and a book holder. Probably the phone holder as well, because let's be honest, we're all multitaskers and we all have some pretty bad attention spans, so we're going to be jumping between the book and the wine and the phone to look at some reels and TikToks. Dr. Dennis Gross peels. I love those things. These things are miracle workers, makes your skin look like a baby's skin. A lip scrub and mask combo. So of course all of you are aware of the fresh lip scrub, but then there is also the Laneige lip mask. I'm about to give you a dupe for half the cost. The lip scrub from Bath & Body Works and the lip mask from Bath & Body Works. Chef's kiss, mwah. Literally, look at my lips. Mwah. Foot butter. Specifically in a stick. This thing is so handy and I carry it around everywhere. It's small. It's the Rocky Mountain Soap Foot Butter. 
You guys, I am going to recommend the Sol de Janeiro Four Play Shower Gel. Smells so heavenly, all right? And then of course with that, how are you not going to gift the 62 perfume or the 71? and the Bum Bum Cream. And on top of that, they also do have a body oil, and it's all based on the, I think it's 62 cent. You guys want to get a little bit more festive and add on to that, I highly, highly, highly recommend the Native Sugar Cookie line. She is going to be smelling like a literal sugar cookie. Perfume. If you really want to splurge, Perfume and if your girl is a sweet gourmand warm spicy girl I'm gonna list some of the best ones for you. You ready? Of course black opium good girl Milk commodity lady million Done hang in with me here for a second snail mucin It's an essence This thing works wonders She's going to love it Especially if she wants that glowy skin, just just get her this. Just throw it at her. Face mist. We have your typical Mario Badescu. Then there is the what is that? Lalaba, whatever, whatever. It's some sort of a mushroom face mist, like a truffle face mist. Apparently supposed to make your skin look incredibly glowy. That one's another one. We also have Another one from Amazon, I think it's by Grace and Stella. It's like a nice little rose mist. Just do your research, figure out which one's going to work best for her, but face mists are always a good idea. There are actually certain spas that come up with a facial in a box or a spa day in a box. So I highly recommend you reach out to some spas and just ask them because their price points are really reasonable with the amount of items that they put in there. I know that for example Mirage Aesthetics in Oakville where I lived a while ago um, had something like that. So feel free to reach out to them and in case you are too shy in reaching out to them I know that there is a certain brand, and I will link it down below, sells pre-made facials in a box. Perhaps Etsy is going to have some as well. And if you're really stumped, just get her a gift card to the spa. Who's not going to enjoy that? A spa headband with wrists. With a wristband set. Okay, so pretty much what that is, is you put these like wristbands on your wrist, and it's genius. It's absolutely genius. It prevents all that gross water from trickling down your arms. And now as some like little, little things, you could do an electronic candle lighter for those candles that you get her. Or you could get her some cuticle oil for her nails. I really like this specific cuticle oil. I've been using it for three, maybe even four years now. Nike socks, because you can never have too many Nike socks. You never go wrong with them, especially if she's a fitness girly. One of those wide running headbands from Lululemon, because it just looks so cute, especially if she's like in her little Pilates set with the Lululemon defined jacket and her studio pants. Yes, padded headbands. I know that they're not really that popular as they were, However, I still think they look really cute. Those Kish satin scrunchies, because we don't want to be breaking our hair when we tie it up. A chenille scrunchie. I used to have one from La Vie en Rose and then I lost it and I literally want to cry to this day because it has never returned. Satin or silk pajamas, such as these. Your choice, you're the gifter. Just make sure that it's her style. Ugg slippers, need I say more? The Wilfred Geneva scarf or the Sunday Best Coco scarf. It's winter, you guys. Lululemon pom pom hat or the Sunday Best hat with the pom pom. The rich mocha brown is just so cute. So cute. Rhinestone tights. Because honestly, I would feel invincible 
wearing rhinestone tights. A gym set, such as Squat Wolf or Titan. I have discount codes for both of those. You can find them in the description box below. The Wilfred Melina pant, because they're never going to go out of style. And honestly, it makes your bum look good. So if you want her bum looking good, go get her some Melina pants. Fuzzy pajamas. If you could find Chanel pajamas, bonus points for you. The Aritzia cozy fleece boyfriend pant in the wide. I wear them all the time, literally all the time. I feel really sorry for my fiance because he comes home and he knows what I'm going to be wearing. That and the crew neck boyfriend sweatshirt, especially in a cute color like rich mocha brown, you're all set. LED light strips. The Amazon ones are dope. They look really cool. Like I look into people's window. Okay, no, I don't go up to people's windows, but I see people's windows in like apartments and their thing is all lit up by these cool colors. Looks awesome, especially if just like in these photos, you really frame it around your bed, around the TV. I think it looks super, super cute. A mini projector because why not? It's actually really cool. It's like having a movie theater in your own home. A laptop stand. So I don't know about you guys, but I'm realizing the importance of not looking down at my laptop, but actually being able to look up. So a laptop stand, especially for those girls that are always on their computer, which is like what, 80% of the population. A shower phone holder. I didn't know this existed until I saw a YouTube video and I was like, excuse me? A massage gun. Either the Theragun or the Lola. I'm sure that there are other ones on Amazon, but I know that those two particularly are very good, especially if you're trying to gift a girl that is very athletic and often complains about muscle pain. And with that, I also add in a back massager. This one off of Amazon seems to be a hit. Okay, so this is where the expensive one comes in, but the Apple Watch. I know, I know, but not everybody has an Apple Watch yet, so perhaps you'd like to gift her an Apple Watch with a nice band. The Sunset Lamp. I think this is adorable, especially for people that like to film or just, you know, are very moody and like to have their cool lighting. The Sunset Lamp is really, really cool. This is probably the most expensive item on the list, but if you can afford it and she wants it, go get it. Dyson Airwrap, and if you can't afford it, but you could still afford something just like slightly under the Shark Flex style. Need I say more? A hair wax stick? A what? A hair wax stick. So this is just like gel that you, you know, you know, put on your fingers and you put in your hair, but it makes it so much easier because they figured out how to put it in a stick form. So it's like a huge glue stick, but it's not glue that you're putting into your hair. And for girls like me who love their sleek hairstyles, it's like $15. Get it. The Kish Satin Curling Set. I think it's actually just genius to come up with this, especially since it's satin, it's not going to break your hair, and you don't have to be using your robe strand anymore. Plus, it's heatless. The Babyliss Hot Rollers. I believe it's the Titanium Pro. I got these babies, absolutely love them. Beautiful, beautiful curls. This one is super exciting, and I saw this on Reels. Glitter spray but it's like a spray that you could spray into your hair, not just your body, and it goes in your hair and it looks so, so cute. You look like a human disco ball. New Year's, here we come. The Still Classics 2024 Planner. I have had their planner since 2019. I am not going back. I love it. Muji pens. Zebra midliners. Also fantastic, fantastic highlighter markers. Also get her some Bible highlighters. Now I know they're called Bible highlighters, but that doesn't mean that you have to use them. Excuse me. But that doesn't mean that you have to use them for a Bible. They're only called Bible highlighters because the Bible has such thin, thin pages that it could bleed through with a normal highlighter. So these highlighters are highly pigmented yet don't seep through pages. The five minute journal because 
gratitude is where it's at. Any kind of self-improvement books like Atomic Habits, uh, The Psychology of Money, The Mountain is You, um, what else is there? 101 Essays, so on and so forth. You could do your research yourself. Although I do highly recommend Atomic Habits. That's one that I have finished reading and is am probably going to read again. A yoga mat, in case they don't have a yoga mat, which surprisingly, I don't have a yoga mat yet. I got rid of mine. I don't know why. Probably wasn't as good as I was hoping for, but yoga mat. A foam roller. So I got this foam roller off of Amazon and it comes with massage balls as well. Hiking boots. I actually have these Columbia boots myself and I think they are so, so comfortable. If this is someone who likes to go out hiking and not even just hiking, but you know, regular walking and want comfortable shoes, these guys. Biosteel. Seriously, Biosteel. Electrolytes for the win. A running band like this one from Nike because you may want your water on the go or you may want to keep your keys somewhere without it flopping around in your hand. And last but not least, in case this girl is a heavy lifter and you don't want her to injure her knee the way that I did, Nike knit sleeves. The Charlotte Tilbury Light Wand for blush and highlighter, Sephora has a duo right now. Charlotte Tilbury Pillow Talk Lipstick and Lip Liner, Urban Decay's Space Cowboy, the moon dust eyeshadow that they have. I bought this three years ago and I use it every time I go out. It just seriously makes every eyeshadow look so much more elevated when you're going for that sparkly look. The Dior Glow Face Palette, because look at how beautiful those colors are. You got everything you need, it's nice and compact, great for travel. The Diffie Wellness Soap Brow, and that's for all of those girls that love having laminated looking brows the way that I do right now. Diffy Brow is what the product is called. It's actually what I have in right now. And the best part about the Diffy Brows is that it doesn't leave any white residue the way that most soap brow or lam brow laminating things do. Glossier High Shine Holographic Lip Gloss. An e.l.f. makeup sponge. Seriously, get her the eye e.l.f. makeup sponge and just the regular face makeup sponge. It is exactly comparable to a beauty blender for literally a quarter of the price. So rare Beauty Blush or Highlight. And if you don't want to get Rare Beauty, get her some Glossier Cloud Paint as blush. If you get this one, you need to get it in a combo. I'm sorry, I don't make the rules. Dior Lip Glow Oil and the Dior Lip Balm. Makes your lips look like you were just born. for this one because I don't think it's in Canada or even America yet. I don't know exactly where it is, perhaps Dubai, but if you have access to it, I highly, highly recommend getting her because this is going to start literally going viral exponentially. The Dior Transfer Proof Liquid Lipstick in Ultra Glittery, specifically shade 620. I'm gonna give you guys a little clip to watch right now. Easy application, so easy. I'm so impatient, I have to wait for five minutes and then to rub my lips for the sparkle to show up and it's gonna be all glittery. It's time, let's do it. Mm. And last but not least, in case your girl likes to look extra glowy, extra bronzy, doesn't really like to wear foundation but still wants something, the Drunk Elephant De-Bronzy Anti-Pollution Drops. So as a reminder, in case she wants jewelry, go for some Ana Luisa jewelry. You can use my code VICTORIAK10 at discount. I'm not too sure if it's going to work with the sale price that they have. It will definitely work for original priced items. 
Until next time, you guys. Mwah.